Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to install a Net Framework 3.5 on Windows, specifically if you're receiving an error alert with, through a command prompt of 0x800F0922. So particularly this error message should be resolved if we go through a couple different steps here. The first one would be we have to start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to type in programs and features should be listed directly above the control panel at least on Windows 10 on Windows 8 and earlier should not say control panel uh, you want to left click on this and now you want to left click on turn Windows features on or off right here Now at this point, you want to left click on the little box next to .NET Framework 4.6 Advanced Services. So deselect that and then click on OK. And then it just will take a moment to finish up here. So just be patient. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. And now we're going to head over to the internet. You can use any browser you want. And then through Google, I'm going to type in .NET Framework 3.5 and then hit enter. So it might look kind of old here, but we're going to select download Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 from official Microsoft and it should have a Microsoft domain name as well so select that download so select the corresponding language you want to download it in and then left click on download now I will select the first option here which will download the client profile also known as a web installer and I'm not going to download the malicious software removal tool. It doesn't really relate to what we are doing here. So anyway, we're going to select Next. And then it'll begin downloading. Okay, so I'm going to run the executable once it's finished. And I'm going to minimize out my web browser here and we might get a notification saying an app needs the following Windows feature so select download and install this feature again this will take a moment so just be patient
Okay, so we can see the following feature was successfully installed. And it says you might need to restart the apps that require this feature. At this point, you can close out of this window. And then what I'd recommend doing is head back over to the Start menu. And we're going to type in Programs and Features again. Like we did before, Windows 10, it should say Control Panel right underneath. So you want to select that. And then left click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. And now this time you want to select .NET Framework 4.6 Advanced Services. And now you want to click on OK. Again, this will take a moment. And you can see that Windows completed the requested changes. So again, you can close out of here and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.